ladies, how are you today? Today is week three. <laughs> I think this is week three. I'm losing track <laughs> of the movie marquee challenge that I'm doing with Heather at, at uh, oh, I almost said leftist right crochet. That's wrong. <laughs> at uh, the crochet witch, Heather the crochet witch. There we go. Okay. So um, if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, her and I are collaborating and we're doing, we pick six movies each and we're alternating months of picking a movie, right? Here's my hat. I pick my hat, my mine out of a hat. She picks hers out of her cute little cauldron. And, uh, on, in January, I, I picked, um, Silence of the Lambs. And this month she picked the Lost Boys. So, ooh, yarn. <laughs> so uh, what we do is we show the movie poster and then we make something out of the colors in the poster. Okay, so this was not exactly <laughs> what I was planning but uh, I just have to go with it. And what I mean by that is I started crocheting with the bird, the red, and I, then I went to the dark gray, and then I went to the light gray. My plan was to have the bird, the red on this side. So when I sewed it together, I screwed up and I flipped the panels the wrong way. So the reason why I wanted this color on the outside was because that was the color that I had the most yarn. And then I could make the sleeves and it would all kind of blend out. I don't have enough of the light gray to make the sleeves. So, so I'm going to still have to make them in um, the burgundy it's just going to be a different look than what I had planned. I am OCD when it comes to color matching and stuff like that. I, I can't have, um, like, <clears throat> excuse me, like scrap blankets and stuff where the colors just all over the place. I am too OCD for stuff like that. Um, I, I have a really tough time with it. So, yeah, so this is going to be one of those oopsies and do just do it and move on from it <laughs> because, yeah, to have burgundy arms on this gray, just, I just don't know. Maybe it'll look great. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway. So this is my movie marquee challenge cardigan. Um, it's kind of, I put it on the mannequin so that you could kind of see it all. Cause if I just hold it up and whatever, you're not really going to get the gist of it. So uh, here is the back. So yeah. So all, so this was all supposed to be light gray. <laughs> I was tired when I put it together. It was late at night. I wasn't thinking. I'm just lucky I got the actual panels. Excuse me. I'm, I'm just glad I got the actual panels proper because you can't see it, but I guess I can take it off her now. Ah. Oops. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Ugh. Okay. So I don't know if you could see. You might be able to see better on the light. Ah, there we go. But it's got ribs in it. And it goes all the way through. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. I did the mattress stitch. Is that what it's called? The mattress stitch um, to sew it up. What's that? It's, it's like zigzag. 
going all the way up. Is that the mattress stitch? I don't know. I could bring it over this way now. Um, but anyways, it's, it's solid in there. So, yeah. Um, another thing that went wrong with this is I, um, the way I wanted to do the sweater was to, yeah, I had to do it in two panels. And usually when I do a cardigan like this, I'll just do the whole piece up to the neck part. Ow, I just scratched myself. Up to the neck part, I'll do a half, like I did 200 stitches, right? I'll get to the neck part and then I'll do 100 stitches, which would be half of up to your neck. And then I would chain 100 stitches and then keep going to do the rest of the sweater. But I found out when I got to the halfway mark that because of the ribbing that I did, it didn't work. It didn't work. So it messed up the ridges. And um, so I had ended up having to do it in two panels and then sew it up the back which I really hate, but I, I think it looks okay. I mean, there is a, um, you can see like there's a, the, there's the ridges, right? And then there's no ridge. There's just the part where I sewed it up. So there is a bit of a space, like a gap there, um, where there's no ridges, but I don't, I don't think it matters much when you got it on. It's not going to matter too much. So yeah, you can see, see, you can't really tell. I mean, you can, you can, if you're looking for it, right? But anyway, Okay, so now all I have to do is the sleeves and the collar and the, you know, um, the, yeah, I'm going to have to put a little hemi thing on the bottom just to tidy it up a little bit. Um, I, what I used was the Karen Cloud Cakes. Um, I love working with this yarn. It is so squishy soft. It's easy to work with. Uh, I'm really concerned about the washing process because I'm really, I'm afraid it's going to pill up really bad. So yeah, and it is, it's very, it's a fragile uh, yarn. You could pull on it and it just breaks, right? Uh, but in a garment like this, it's, I think it's pretty safe. Um, I don't think putting this in the dryer is going to be a good idea. Although I think it says you can wash and dry it. But if I did, I would put it on delicate. Um, it's going to be, blah, blah, blah. yeah. So we'll see how it goes once I finish it. And uh, I, again, I think this one's going to be too small for me because um, I didn't have enough yarn. So I was really skittish on the panels that I did. Um, I probably could have done one more row each for each color, but I didn't want to play yarn chicken and screw up that part. So I just did what I did and I hope for the best. So it's, you know, it's probably going to be one that I sell. Um, yeah. 
but yeah, I'm, I'm just really worried about the, the uh, washing. But other than that, it's beautiful. It's so soft and it's just, oh, it's just luscious, luscious. Ah, oh, so, and I can't get that yarn anymore. So it's not like I can make one for myself. But yeah, anyway, hopefully they bring something back next year. Um, and hopefully we don't have all the screw ups that we did. It was so hard to get this yarn. It was so hard. I mean, I mean, we had the, um, the bad weather and then we had, uh, the flooding and we had our roads washed out, our major roads washed out. Our trucks couldn't get through, um, deliveries couldn't be made. It was just crazy. But you know what? I don't even think that that was the issue. I think it was Michael's that was the issue because when it went up on the website, sold out. That It was like you couldn't get it. You know, they just brought it out. Nobody knew about it, like knew anything about it. And it just said, "Can't you can't get it. So um, down in the States, a lot of people had it in their stores, but I, it, I don't think it was, I don't think they were stock shelves, you know, um, but for Canada and it's like that for a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that we get at Michael's, um, they say, oh, all these new yarns are coming out and they don't get here. It's almost like um, they sell out in the States and then we don't get any. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But yeah, I am just so disheartened with Michaels. So I'm just, oh, oh. that used to be my favorite place to go. And now not so much. So, um, I wish I could find a comparable yarn to this. I'm sure that Hirschner's has some or ice has some or something, but, um, this is a wonderful yarn. It's just so squishable, you know, but anyway, um, yeah. So anyways, uh, that was 13 minutes of me blabbing about nothing. That's the way it goes. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to join Heather on Heather's channel. Her link is always down below, uh, and go see what she's making. Ah, just, oh yeah. <laughs> She's brilliant. She's just, she's, oh man. Ah, so anyway, go check out her channel. Don't forget to do all the things like subscribe and comment and hit the notification bell and, um, come back for our finale next week and see how our projects turned out and then join us on the first well maybe i'll put it on the first um and find out what movie i pick for january february march march god march already holy smokes this is getting depressing <laughs> the, the months are just flying by all of a sudden Ah, oh, anyway. Okay, guys, I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Bye.